This video will help you set up your Kessel Wi-Fi dongle. Before getting started, make sure you have a Wi-Fi enabled smart device, a Kessel Wi-Fi dongle with packaging, and a compatible Kessel Lite connected to power. To begin, download the Kessel Wi-Fi app to your smart device. If you're going to set up a connection through your Wi-Fi router, make sure your device is connected to the router. Open the Wi-Fi app and grant it the required permissions. The app will ask you to select your location. Pick a major nearby city in your time zone. You can scroll through the options or use the search function. You have the option of signing into the app with a social media account. This is not required, but signing in will let you save backups of your settings. Signing in will also grant access to additional cloud functionality with future updates. For setup, you have three options. Connect via router, direct connect to dongle, and reload a previous connection. Option three is not available for initial setup. Option one is recommended for better stability and control range. This option will also allow you to retain a wireless data connection while operating your lights. Setup for option one and two is very similar, so you can continue watching this tutorial for either method. First, remove the Wi-Fi dongle from its box and attach it to a K-Link port on your Kessel light. Be sure not to discard any of the box's contents. The dongle indicator light will turn pink when first powered on, then orange when the dongle is ready to connect. In your Wi-Fi dongle box, you'll find QR code stickers. By scanning one of these stickers, your phone will be able to connect to the Wi-Fi dongle. If you do not have these stickers, consult the Wi-Fi dongle online manual at the Kessel support page. If your phone displays a warning about your Wi-Fi connection, dismiss the warning and stay connected to the Wi-Fi. Once the connection is made, the dongle indicator light will turn blue. The app will then ask for your Wi-Fi network login information. Be aware that the Wi-Fi dongle does not support 5 GHz networks. After the network login is submitted, the indicator light will turn red. When the connection is successfully established, the light will change from red to green. You can advance to the next step while waiting for the green light. At this stage, we can repeat the setup process with an additional dongle or select Done. After selecting Done, a progress circle will fill as the connection is stabilized. And there's the green light. Some smart devices may require a manual reconnection to your Wi-Fi network at this step. Most users can just hit Next. After one more progress circle, the connection setup will be complete. Our connection is successful. With the first light connected, let's add three more lights with a K-Link daisy chain. These additional lights won't appear in the app until the refresh function is used. With all of our lights recognized, we can move on to operating the app. The dashboard is the main screen of the Kessel Wi-Fi app. It lists all current groups with basic status information. Groups can be toggled on and off. And the plus menu has options for adding dongles or reloading a previously established connection. Lights will initially be separated into default groups for Tuna Blue and Tuna Sun. Create a new group by pressing the plus button. The new group will copy the spectrum of the currently selected group. To move lights between groups, navigate to the currently occupied group. Pull up the other available groups from the bottom of the screen. And hold your finger over the light you'd like to move. The light will release and can then be dragged to the new group. To delete a group, hold your finger on the group window. Then press the X button when it appears. Lights in a deleted group will be returned to the default group.
The main mode screen displays current settings for selected groups. Settings can be accessed by pressing the edit icon. The primary light settings control the color and intensity of the Kessel Logic Spectrum, which is optimized for maintaining healthy livestock. Compatible fixtures include cosmetic color channels in addition to the core Kessel Logic Spectrum. These can be blended with the core spectrum to adjust the look of your tank. It is important to note that these colors are not designed to sustain tank livestock, so make sure you are including the Kessel Logic Spectrum in your light settings. Settings can be saved as presets to be easily reloaded at any time. Simply tap the preset circle to load the saved settings. To access the delete option, hold your finger over the preset circle. Effects can be programmed as well. The selected effect will be played automatically anytime a setting is adjusted. The light will return to its previous settings after the effect finishes. To access programs, pull up the bottom tab on the main mode screen. New programs can be added, but we will work off the standard preset. When pulling up the program, we are first brought to the preview screen. To edit the program, tap on a schedule point or add a new point. This will bring up the edit screen, where the time and color settings of each schedule point can be adjusted. The same preset functionality as manual mode is also available here. Be sure to set your final edit point to 0% intensity so that your schedule ends with lights fully deactivated. Effects can be programmed to play over a schedule point. After the effect plays, the schedule will return to its normal settings. On the preview screen, schedule points can be deleted by holding your finger over the point. The entire program can be reset with the default button. On the main mode screen, acclimation and lunar cycle program options can be activated. Acclimation mode is used to introduce new livestock to your tank by reducing the intensity of your lighting schedule and ramping it up over time. When exiting the special mode settings, select Reset to restart the mode with new settings, or Keep to maintain the previous mode settings. Beginning, peak, and end times can be set for the daily lunar cycle. Make sure to set the lunar cycle to start after the normal daily schedule, which ends at 8 p.m. or the 20th hour by default. If experiencing trouble establishing or maintaining a connection, first make sure that the dongle is fully plugged in. Try reloading your connection with the Quick Reload option on the dashboard menu. Before quick reloading, make sure your smart device Wi-Fi is connected to your router or directly to the dongle. If that doesn't work, try these additional resets and restart the setup process. Forget the dongle Wi-Fi connection in your smart device. The network will follow the naming convention shown here. Then reset the Wi-Fi app in the settings tab. Finally, press and hold the reset button on the dongle itself. After these are complete, try restarting the setup process. If you need additional Wi-Fi setup help, visit kessel.com support.